Hi there guys, it's the Grey Man here again, going through what I call the Gore Shriek collection. Well it is my mate from this band Gore Shriek, Vic Bub. He's a good mate of mine, I see him at birthdays and Christmases, we have a couple of boozes up so around the year. And he was telling me about he wanted to you know, get rid of his comics basically. So I offered him, like I say, you know, I'll come and have a look at him, make you an offer for, you know, if there's any ones I need. And he said, you can have them mate, you can, you can have them, don't have to pay me anything. And it was like, okay then, you'd have to ask me twice. So he's given me a massive couple of bags, and I basically I'm going to go through them, do that 20 odd minute video, and until I've finished going through the whole lot. So let's have a check them out of them now. So this is the second uh, one of these videos that I'm doing here. Uh, I've already done one before, because I don't want to bore people by doing the whole like load in one go. Uh, most of them, if you saw the first video, I already had. One or two I don't have. Uh, what I'll do, yeah, if I definitely haven't got it, then this one I'm pretty sure. A lot of the image ones I won't, I probably won't have. But a lot of the uh, Marvel and DC seem to have collected the same kind of period that I did. So there'll be a lot of them that I do have, you know. Like this Shadow Hawk. I did collect a couple of runs of Shadow Hawk. I think I had Shadow Hawk 3. This cover looks familiar. Nice cover, that one. Just black, silver, and red. Again, this Shadow Hawk. He was the guy for. I think I think he made Breaking People's Backs popular before Bane came along. I'm not sure now. Did he predate Bane with the back breaking uh, move? There's an early Young Blood. Bit of Life Field. Uh, young Blood number three. Apparently, a lot of the young, a lot of the uh, life field works from Image have been optioned uh, for movies. So I don't know if that's going to make any uh, possible rise in the price of their books. I'm pretty sure I've got some early uh, Young Blood in my collection already. Right here lies Earth's greatest hero. It's a Superman memorial book. No, I was collecting Superman at that point, but I don't remember that cover. So I wonder if I've never, never got that one. Uh, an Avengers Annual, I've got that one for sure, I recognise that one. I like that, it's part one of the Subterranean Wars, and that year, and possibly a couple of years after that, they would cross over the annuals together, make, like, I think it was four-parters, like running across four different books, and I really enjoyed those. They were, they were a bit of fun, to have like, an ongoing story crossing over with different characters. Uh, Avengers The Terminus Factor. Mm, not sure if I have that one. There'll be a few here that I, I don't have, maybe, but more, probably more that I do. Uh, I was looking at the Ghost Rider ones that he's given me. The um, I dare say there's been others since this run. This was, I think, 90s run. And I know I've got quite a few of the... Uh, I started off the 90s run, but I think I may have quit on the, um, Marvel around this time. So some of the later ones I don't have. This one I've got. Actually, this one might be nice to keep. Unless someone wants to offer me lots of money for it. <laughs> uh, and, I, and maybe put it up on my wall, actually. I think this one glows in the dark. It's got the feel of a glowing dark. It's got a bloody scratch there, though, across the black there. That's really annoying. Otherwise, it'd be quite nice to put that up on the, on the wall. The original Ghost Rider. Hmm. All right, and in saying that, here is a proper original Ghost Rider. Very bad condition. Now this one, this one's, this one has been ravaged by time, and uh, yeah, obviously a bit of a page was sticking out. Oh, it's come out even. Yeah, that one, that one. Oh, I don't have that though, so that's cool. I will have the story to read anyway. That is good. There's another original Ghost Rider run, Johnny Blaze. I'm happy with that car. I'd like to get those if I can. This Metamorpho one, I'm pretty sure I have. Some more Judge Dredd. There's the Angel Gang. Bit of Weapon X. There's a Vampirella Classic. Alright, that one I'm sure I have. D 
this one, Maximum Carnage. I think I have the whole of that Maximum Carnage run. Not too sure though, but maybe I don't. I'll have to find out, I'm not too sure. The Shroud, that comic cover looks familiar. I think I have that one. I won't know until I get to that point in my in my collection and, and, and find them. Ah, oh, this one is sadly damaged. But I've got this one anyway. This is the uh, the wedding between uh, Marlow, I think he's, and... Uh, oh God, I remember the thinking small character. I can't remember the big character, Rick Jones. Rick Jones and Marlow, I believe, are getting married in that one. I don't know if that, if that wedding stuck, whether they stayed... Ready. I, mean, I think I stopped collecting uh, Hulk, uh, I don't know, maybe a year after that. I'm not too sure. But I did have a, quite a good run of the Hulk Peter David run, actually. They were pretty cool. Old uh, Mr. Fix-It and all that. Hero Special, Dark Horse. I think that's like a preview comic. Yeah, this is around about the period when... Uh, X-Men were getting on my nerves. I don't know what it was. I didn't like the art. I didn't like the style of it. I didn't like the convoluted stories and the time travelling nonsense. And I just got fed up with them. And like the fact that Wolverine could do no wrong and he was like super powerful and yeah, he just like got on my nerves to be honest. So I kind of stopped uh, Marvel around that time. Even Captain America, I really loved his like one-on-one -on -one battles he used to have. And they kind of got a bit dull as well and I just didn't like it anymore you know you can't necessarily put your finger on it what it is that puts you off with uh, with books but yeah that was definitely around that time that I was completely put off <laughs> right these ones I've got Booster Gold All-Star Squadron here's a nice uh, one uh, the end of the world curse of the weird you are a zombie uncanny tales of terror bit of Silver Surfer Kazaa the Savage. Uh, Justice League of America. Superman is dead. Who will join the new Justice League? This one I'm pretty sure I've got. That's one of my favourite characters, that one. It's a shame that he turned out to be a villain. Because when he first showed up, he was like... He was like a hero. He looked like he was a hero. But he's like an alter ego inside Carol Danvers. As well as the Star Sapphire. You've also got this guy, the Predator. Who is a really cool looking dude. Uh, some more Judge Dredd and some more Batman that I've already got. Right then, I'm now getting into the next bag of cool stuff. Oops, I knocked the camera over. Cool stuff that Mr. Dick Bub gave me. Stormwatch number two, bit of uh, cover bending down there. Could do the press maybe. Uh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shadowhawk and Vampirella, Creatures of the Night. It's a little hardcover mini book there. Kato 2. Is this Kato who is um, the Green Hornet's uh, assistant, partner, sidekick? Judge Dredd. Another spine rolled Weapon X. Scavengers. Another nice looking Shadow Hawk 2. Avengers, pretty sure that's the time I was collecting it, so. Booster Gold, pretty sure I've got all that run. Judge Dread. Right, that one, very familiar. I saw that in someone's video recently, but I think I might have that one. I don't know for sure. Executioner's Song, another Firestorm, pretty sure I have it, think I have that Legionnaires as well, probably this Deathlock, but like all these doubles I've got, if you want to make, if anyone's interested in any of these books that I've, you know, um, want to try and either put them on eBay or if any of my mates on uh, YouTube are interested and if any of these at all, let me know. Because, you know, I'm quite happy to flog them in-house kind of thing, rather than messing around with eBay. And, uh, that would be cool. So I want to save up for a big boy book. 
There's a full killer. I'm pretty sure I've got the full run of that one. Yeah, it's a ten-parter. Oh, good, here's another Dark Stars. I'm pretty sure I don't have Dark Stars. And here's number one of Dark Stars as well, so that is nice. I think there was one through to four or five I've got there of Dark Stars. It'd be nice if there's a few more Dark Stars in the pile, because uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have those ones. Uh, right, some Avengers. I think these ones are from after I stopped collecting Avengers, so that'll be nice. Oh, the fantabulous first issue of Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. <laughs> uh, Spawn. Now, that'd be nice if there's some Spawns in here, actually, because I read lots of the Spawns back in the day, but I don't think I own them. What it was, I had one friend in my, in my entire life who was into comics, and we used to swap comics with each other for reading purposes. So I'd read all his books after he'd read them. He'd read all my books after I'd read them. And it worked fine, yeah? We did, one time we did a swap. I swapped all my Excalibur comics with him because I wanted his Legion, uh, Legion 88, Legion 89, Legion 90, I can't remember what they were. He basically, the, the, the title changed every time the year changed. But his Legion books, I swapped them for all my Excalibur books because Excalibur was all right, but the Legion books were just really, really cool. Uh, I've forgotten where I was going with that conversation now. Oh yeah, and he used to collect spawn, and I read all his spawns basically. But um, and then we kind of he he had some um, um, some problems, and I never sort of heard from him for a while. And uh, when I bumped into him again, he'd sold all his comics. He hadn't offered me to buy them off him or anything like that. And you know, and quite a lot of them I most probably would have done. You know, any ones I never had myself, I would have bought off him. But he didn't bother to uh, to approach me about it. And I haven't seen him in a good few years. It was unfortunate. He was a good mate. I used to do role-playing games with him. Uh, I used to, you know, used to read each other's comics. I mean, I don't want to go... He had, he had um, mental problems. He had a breakdown, basically. Uh, which is sad. Because he was one of probably my closest mate. Um... Well, this is interesting. I seem to have a foreign language comic book. Marvel Italia. <laughs> Luomo Ragna. <laughs> What's that, Spider-Man? Luomo Ragna? Okay, interesting. I'm going to have to ask my mate Vic uh, what, why exactly he has an Italian Spider-Man book. <laughs> right. Adventures of the Outsiders. Sympathy for the Fuhrer. Does it ring a bell? So it'd be nice if I've got some outsiders that I don't have already. That would be very, very sweet. Uh, that Spider-Man cover does look familiar. Right, four. I didn't collect too many fours. I've got a few, so it'd be nice. These ones aren't familiar, so it'd be nice if these are new ones for me. Uh, more 2000 AD goodness. Rogue Trooper. Most of these are reprinted from uh, the 2000 AD comics, which I've got a lot of them from this era anyway. So I've probably got the original stories from these. Uh, Time Twisters, uh, Ice Age on the World of Magic, uh, Magic the Gathering, the Shadow Mage, uh, another cool looking Shadow Hawk story, another cool Shadow he Hawk, oh, oh, can't say it now, a little bit old black cover, lots of creases on the side there, but it still looks cool, the silver and the black and the red, very striking. Number two. Here we've got this one I know I've got already, but it's still nice to have another one. Uh, Wildcats. Covert Action Teams. Yeah, it was Wild C-A-T-S. There's Wild Covert Action Teams, what it stood for. Wildcats. I had the little mini-series of before that one as well. Is this the one with Grifter? Yeah, Grifter was a really cool character. Grifter looked pretty cool in that, in that uh, book. Here we've got uh, Crossbones. But I've already got that one upstairs. I'm pretty sure I'll have the first uh, appearance of Crossbones as well in that run up that I have upstairs. The Nocturnals. It's like a horror hero team somehow. Another Punisher. Again, a little bit beaten up. But, you know, I can read them. I can read them. And they, they will be in my collection. Happily sit in my collection. <laughs> Venom. Number two. The Mace. Extreme Studios Tour 93, Death Mate Red, 
Grifter. He was a cool character. Cool. I like his mask. He said he had a, a, a loose mask. He made a change to uh, others. Uh, King Size Special, The Inhumans, The Untold Saga, number one. Grifter and Bad Rock team up. Pretty sure I've got that one. Batman and the Outsiders, The Truth About Looker. Mm, got that one already. Some more Dread. This is called cool. The Last Issue of Batman and the Outsiders. So I can't remember if I've got this one already or not. Right, this New Warriors, I probably have that one. I collected them from number one as well. But mind you, what, when did I stop collecting them? New Titans 114. Hmm, I'm not sure about that, if I got that one or not. Vampire Ella again. Uncanny X-Men. Guardians of the Galaxy. Is that guy called Charlie 23 or something like that? There's Jean Lu. I can't remember what the can't remember what the glass diamond looking guy's name is. Or the other guy on the left, I'm not too sure. Is that Star Lord? The original looking Star Lord? I can't remember now. Anyway, Power Pack. I'm sure I've got a few of them, but I couldn't tell you how many. Uh, Dragon Lance, this one I'm sure I have, the Wrecker, this one I know I've got, I recognise that cover. Uh, some more Judge Dredd, oh, I'm sure I already had one, this one in this in one of these bags actually, looks like he's given me a double as well. Uh, Batman, yeah all Batman ones I've got. So it's a shame it's not Batman from a little bit earlier that I don't have, that would be that would be awesome. I tell you what would be annoying if I if I got all the Batman ones that I bought in the recent Bat Buy that I made and they were all here for for free after I'd already paid for them all. That would be annoying. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, right here we go. Okay, another reprint: The Amazing Adventures of the Original X Men. The Mighty Four. It lurks below. There's that guy I like so much, the Jack of Hearts. I can't remember if I mentioned that in this video or in a previous video. But I just like his costume and his look. He just looks cool. Uh, another Batman. New Defenders. Now, I don't have too many New Defenders, actually. And I quite like them. There was one character I liked in one... I had one comic I think, of the New Defenders that I definitely remember. A guy called Manslaughter. And he didn't really appear in many comics. But he, this one comic comes in. He practically takes apart the... Um, the new defenders, and they only manage with a bit of teamwork and a bit of um, um, planning and scheming. They only manage just to defeat him because he's got like an interesting power set. It's only if you're looking directly at him or something that you can st you can see him. He's got some strange thing. He uses Valkyrie's sword against her to cut her, while, and he's got poison on the sword, and that puts her out. He breaks Iceman's neck. Uh, but it turns out it's not Iceman, but Cloud inside an ice sheath kind of thing to make it look like Iceman. Uh, but yeah, it was a good story. You know, I enjoyed that story. I think he ends up teaming up with them to take on some cosmic menace, I recall. And he, I, think he get ki I think he got killed, but I did like that character. It was really cool. Well, these are quite cool as well. Uh, the Coming of Caleb Hammer. I've uh, never been that much into the comic, uh, cowboy comic books, but it's cool that my mate has got such an eclectic kind of mix of books. Uh, 3D Man. Don't remember him. Right, that one I've definitely got. Hulk 2099. Can't say I really collected those. Action Comics Weekly. Oh, look, there's Wild Dog. I mentioned it on a previous video that Wild Dog, uh, also, as well as having his own four part, uh, he ran in some kind of uh, weekly book, and it's Action Comics Weekly. So I probably had that one already. Wolverine, there's a little bit of. Mess, I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be there. That's not actually part of the book, is it? So that's looks like it's been d dipped in um, uh, Ribena at some point. Uh, I'll have that one. There was one of my Legends of the Dark Knight missing. That'd be nice if the one Legends of the Dark Knight... Actually, if I ordered that online. No, hopefully I haven't. Uh, 
First issue, allegedly born X-Men, but that's uh, in, a, in a pitiful state along the spine there. Ah, the nice old Defenders here. No, it's not in good nick, but it's an old book, 1975, and that's nice to have. I like that. Oh, this is even better to have. This is a character I'm glad to see. Black Goliath. Don't think I have any Black Goliath. This is from 76. It's a nice book, fighting the stilt man there. Blue Devil. All right, here's some more of that fear kill full killer that I'm pretty sure I have all of anyway. Uh, some more Batman that I'm pretty sure I have. Marvel Superheroes Fall Special. I think that's new for me. Robin. Got that one. Elf Quest. Amazing Adventures of the Original X-Men, a reprint title again. Uh, number three of that same book. Uh, Detective Comics. Judge Dread Classics. Blue Devil, I guarantee you, 100% pure Blarney, to be sure. <laughs> right. Couple more books, and I'll call that uh, the end of the video. So, Ghost Rider. Oh, this is a nice old one. I like that. Fantastic Four 95, one old pence. Yeah, that's lovely. I like that one. Thank you very much, Mr. Bub. That might actually be worth something, actually. Uh, Ghost Rider 35. Ghost Rider 71. 70, yeah, these will be ones that I'm pretty sure I don't have. I did have the Ghost Riders right early on, but uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I stopped after a while, so these will be ones I don't have, so that's good. Okay, Evil Ernie from Chaos Comics. Here's a nice early one as well, Captain America and the Falcon, 185. <laughs> it would be really bizarre if 117 was in there, because that's my grail book. If he's accidentally given me 117, uh, <laughs> that would be amazing. He's about worth about 100 quid. But uh, fingers crossed it's in there. <laughs> right, Nemesis the Warlock. Uh, what if... Well, no, it's before Wolverine there was Weapon X, so it's not what if. A uh, couple of uh, Death Mates. An X-Force. I've got the early X-Forces, but I think I might stop by that point. New Warriors, I'm sure I have. Well, this is another nice old one. These are the ones I like, the old ones I haven't got. Satana, the Devil's Daughter. Right, this Manhunter Zero, I have got that one, I am sure. Uh, interview with the Vampire, there's been a few of these, I wonder if I've got a full set. And last one for this uh, little video, Art Attack, Web of the Spider-Man, two of four. Pretty sure I have that one, oh, do I have that one? It looks kind of familiar, I'm not sure though. Yeah, I think I do. But anyway, that's enough for this video. I'll be doing some more videos. Now, now what I've been doing, because of my mate from this band, Gore Shriek, gave me these comics. I'm going to play you out with one of his tracks uh, off of his band. You probably won't like it. If you're not into heavy metal, you won't like it. So you can stop the video now. But if you're into heavy metal, have a listen to this. It's Gore Shriek off of the post-apocalyptic mutations release. I'm going to play you the second track, Inhuman Miscreation. Enjoy. Horns. Uh, horns up. <laughs> Something is alive in the funhouse. Something not alive like its father. Something better dead. Something that has the form of a human, but not the face. This better be good. It's gonna be great. Something that feeds off the flesh and blood of young innocents. Come on, here we go. This is it. Something that tonight will turn the funhouse into a carnival of terror. 